Hey guys, when you want to connect to a remote server, you want to use SSH. And when you use SSH, you want to use a key instead of a password. So, uh, what we want to do here, I have a, a test server set up. And uh, I want to create a, this is my, my regular machine here. So I'm going to um, just create a user named Guy. Alright, so he lives in Home Guy. So here we are. Who am I? I'm Guy. So let's create a SSH key for this guy. SSH key gen. Now let's do a, um, a pretty strong one 496. We're going to go ahead and accept the key name, which is going to be IDRSA. And we're not going to put a passphrase. So you can see we created an SSH directory here with 700 permissions. Whoop. Let's go in there. And it created two files. It created the key itself, ID RSA, and then also the, the public key, which is dot pub. Dot pub is what you're going to share with people. The RSA, or the underscore RSA file, is what you're going to keep to yourself. But let's take a look at it here. So it looks like this. This is the one you're going to keep to yourself. Starts with begin RSA private key. So private is a little indication that you're going to keep it private. All right. Public key looks like this. So it's like a starts out with RS, or SSH RSA space, and then your key itself. Boop goes to here and then the identity which is guy at rob dash mbp which is this laptop so this is the the file itself that you're gonna share with people because they can't get to your your private from there anyway so let's connect to the remote server uh, which I have set up already uh, let's see here. Nobody's set up yet. Let's add this guy. Boop, 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 boop. So now you can see he has a home there. Let's become him. So PWD, Print Working Directory, shows us we're in Home Guy, and we are him. So from here, let's go ahead and make a directory dot SSH. We're going to chmod that 700. Oops, yeah, that was dumb. Dot SSH. Boop. So now we can see the directory exists, and it's 700. So read, write, execute for the owner, nothing else for group or world. Let's go in there, and we'll look at the, uh, well, there's nothing in here, because we just created it. Nothing. So what we're going to do is create the authorized keys file. So hit I for insert. We're going to copy this whole thing and paste it here.
no extra lines, anything going on. Save it. And we're going to chmod that to, oops, 600. So we're in SSH directory, we create authorized keys, and it's 600. So read write for the owner. We'll make a video coming up on uh, chmod so you guys can understand some more of that. But anyway, back on our original machine up here. Let's just CD back in our home directory, home guy. We should be able to SSH into there now with no password. Let's give it a try. I named this one KP4. It's in my Etsy host. So the first time you do, it's going to say, hey, we don't know this server. Do you want to add this fingerprint? You say yes. Enter, and there you are. So right now we're guy at KP4. We're on the new server, no password, just SSH. So now what we want to do, he doesn't have any sudo access. Let's go ahead, we're back in our home, home machine here down below. I'm gonna go on that other machine as root. Let's look at the uh, Etsy SSH, SSH D config. And let's look for um, password authentication is already set to no, so that's good. And that means that nobody can get on this server unless they have a key. So right now you know, even if somebody has your key or has your password for your local user, um, they're not going to be able to get on. Uh, let's look at the uh, the root login. Permit root login, yes. Uh, let's change that to without password. So, permit root login, yes. Uh, I believe would let them log in with your password. Um, without password makes it so that uh, they can't get in even if they had the root, the root password. So now what we gotta do is, this is uh, Ubuntu 18, so it's system D. So let's restart SSH after we edit that file. And we're good. So anyway, any questions uh, for that? Make sure you ask in the comments below. And that's about it. So um, now you know how to create a key. One, two. It's a it's a good key. It's four nine six bytes. Uh, third, you know how to put it on the, the remote server. Create that authorized keys file. Chmod it six hundred. And then we tested it. We were able to log in, and we're good. So, leave any comments below. Uh, hit that subscribe and like. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.